Okay, Fistful of Lead Heads, let's talk Fistful of Lead Portion Musket Second Edition. So this is our second edition. We learned quite a bit of things uh, from doing Galactic Heroes. This brings it more in line with uh, the rest of our games as far as, far as uh, how the basic mechanics work and everything. Uh, we've added a lot to it from the other original uh, Horse and Musket set. So <clears throat> you'll notice it's got similar layout to the rest of them. This is a standalone book with our basic rules, our special cards, actions. Also notice this is also full color as opposed to the black and white original horse and musket. Um, obviously one of the big things about this is that the weapons are gonna be, you know, we're, we're in the age of sort of single shot rifles. So uh, we get a little bit more in depth with that, with shooting and how it works, especially with reloads, close combat. One of the big deals with close combat in this that's different from uh, some of our other rule books is the concept of better weapons, which uh, most of your miniatures are going to be armed with, you guessed it, the musket, but muskets can be used like a spear or a fixed bayonet or a club. Uh, close combat weapons have no combat bonus per se, but weapon quality and reach can influence the, can influence the combat. So in this, having a better weapon than another then your opponent uh, is what gives you the bonus rather than each one having specific bonuses. So once again, we talk about uh, wounds, different states you can be in. A whole separate video just on that and recovery. Our tasks, leaders. This is uh, assembling your detachment. So instead of crews like we see in uh, galactic heroes uh, or groups that we see in the core rule we're calling this a detachment just because uh, in this period for such a small group they wouldn't have really had a, a formal name for a group that's operating five to eight miniatures sort of Richard Sharp style in the Sharps rifles kind of thing so this has got a few different traits in it that weren't in other core rules uh, Talk about equipping your detachment, so how, how many slots they get. Go into some depth talking about uh, the different types of weapons between, for instance, the difference between a smooth bore musket and a regular, and a rifled musket. Mounts, a couple pages on making a campaign, and of course we've got scenarios. These are, uh, a few of them share the scenarios from the original horse and musket that we've added quite a few more into the mix. And of course, a page with some stuff that you can photocopy. Nice big canister template. So that's our Fistful of Lead Horse and Musket. Once again, you've got, you know, not a whole lot of rules that you have to learn, especially if you know uh, any of our other titles. This will be really easy for you to pick up. So, I think you'll really enjoy this if you're in any sort of uh, horse and musket period, black powder ear, and want to do sort of smaller scouting missions, that sort of thing. Really great for like French and Indian Wars, that kind of thing. So go out there and pick it up.